Hello kids. In the last video, we learned about estimation and verification of volume of containers. In this video, we will learn more about it by some interesting examples. Raju and Bablu are collecting coins. Raju, I will collect 1 rupee coins. I will collect 5 rupee coins, Bablu. Let us buy boxes from the market to collect coins in. But Raju, how do we know what is the volume of the boxes we will need to collect 100 coins? And I don't even have a measuring cup at my house. Never mind, we can make our measuring cup. Eh, wow, how's that? Bablu, do you have an empty bottle or a jug? Yes, I'll get it right away. Look here, Raju. I have this 20 milliliter bottle and I have brought this jug too. But what will you do with them? I will tell you now. First, we will fill this empty bottle completely with water. Then, we will empty the bottle in this jug. Because the volume of the bottle is 20 milliliters, we can say that the jug currently has 20 milliliters of water. With a pen, we will mark 20 milliliters of water in this jug at that level of water. Bablu quickly made a mark of 20 milliliters at the level of water filled in the jug. Now, we will fill the bottle completely every time and empty it in the jug and each time a mark will be made on the jug by adding 20 points to the previous level of water. In this way, the marks on the jug will be made at 40, 60, 80 milliliters. See, Bablu, our measuring jug is ready. Now we can use it to find the volume of the coins. Oh wow, Raju, this is a wonderful technique. Let us find out the volume of 10 1 rupee and 10 5 rupee coins. Raju and Bablu used the measuring jug made by them. They found that the volume of 10 1 rupee coins is 20 milliliters and the volume of 10 5 rupee coins is 40 milliliters. Children, can you now find out what would be the volume of the boxes which can be used by Raju and Bablu in order to store 100 coins of 1 rupee and 100 coins of 5 rupees? If you wish, you can stop this video and think of the answer. The volume of 10 1 rupee coins is 20 milliliters. Therefore, the volume of a 100 1 rupee coins will be 20 times 10 or 200 milliliters. And the volume of 10 5 rupee coins is 40 milliliters. So, the volume of 100 5 rupee coins will be 40 times 10 or 400 milliliters. Raju, come, let's quickly go to the market and buy one box having a volume of 200 milliliters and one box having a volume of 400 milliliters. Both the friends excitedly walked towards the market. Children, in this video we learned about estimation and verification of volume of containers by some interesting examples. In the next video, we will look at some of the misconceptions related to this.